It's that time of the year and hurricane preparedness is essential. And just by having a few items on hand, you can possibly even save your life or someone else's life. This is a practice that I do every year because you just never know. So today I'm sharing my tips on what we do to prepare for a hurricane. Grab a few containers, it doesn't have to be this fancy, just something small enough to fit inside your car. But since I'm an organizer, this system is very natural to me. And I got them from Michael's stores last year on clearance. And these are by far my favorite, and I will be sharing how to organize them in case we need to evacuate. This is actually craft storage for your supplies, and I love it because it has a removable tray to store those small items. This way you're not digging at the bottom for things you may need in a hurry. First, go to your pantry and grab lots of non-perishable foods for at least a three-day supply for evacuation, a two-week supply for home, canned goods like beans, tuna, peanut butter, jelly, crackers, and snacks, and don't forget your can opener. Bottled water is essential, at least one gallon per person per day, and use your judgment on how much you may need. Paper towels come in very handy as well, extra rolls of toilet paper and wipes are handy, and don't forget paper cups, plates, and utensils. Everything you see here I already had. Fire extinguishers are good to have. We keep one in each of our bedrooms and bathrooms. Another necessity is having a battery operated fan. You will definitely need this. I got it from Walmart last year for under $6. This is the Stanley Jump It Starter Power Station, and it's a compact portable device to jumpstart your car, your truck, SUV, motorcycle, boat, and even an RV. It has a high-powered LED light that rotates, and that's a help when you're in the dark. And it also has triple built-in USB ports to charge your phone and devices. And it set me back only $40. The number one thing that you will need is your meds and your first aid kits. Be sure to square that away, making sure that you have your medicine. If you're um, a diabetic and you're on insulin, be sure to have those supplies, you guys. This is crucial. My first aid kit is compact and the container is from TJ Maxx. I've had it for a few years, so be sure to have a thermometer and medication just in case. With everything going on, I also created a virus kit. I've created several of these kits to keep in our cars at all times. Nothing fancy, the container with a see-through lid, Lysol, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, mask, and gloves. If you ever had to evacuate, then you're stuck in traffic, and then there's not a bathroom nearby, make a toilet out of a bucket and a pool noodle. It was only $5 for the bucket and a dollar for the pool noodle at your local dollar store. Just cut the pool noodle down the middle, not too far down because you don't want it to go through the other end because it will split, and place it on the rim of the bucket, leaving an opening like a toilet seat. Open the bucket handle and put a roll of toilet paper on it. Just remember to grab some garbage bags to dispose of the business. The she we this is perfect for us ladies. I'm waiting for this to come in the mail. This is a portable urinal and it's great for men and women. I haven't tried it yet, but the reviews are fabulous. I can't wait to just in case I need to use it. I did pick up these um, little ones here for my nieces. I'll be gifting them to their parents for them to put in their cars as well. Be sure to have your flashlight and fresh batteries. Now's a good time to stock up. Cell phone chargers, bring an extra one. I like to bring several just in case, but I also have emergency cell phone chargers that are pre-charged and ready to go. No wires needed and they last for four hours. They have them for Android and smartphones too. Power banks are good to have as well. Mine is strong enough to charge my laptop. Solar lights that you use in your yard, they can easily be used inside your home. This will save you money on using batteries when the lights are out. Put as many as you need inside a vessel, place them in the bathroom, the kitchen, the closet. Just remember to recharge them by the windows during the day. Another important thing is to get a safe with a lock and key. Important papers and documents and photos placed inside a fire safe waterproof, safe for protection, and be sure to take videos and pictures of your home as well. 
Be sure to take plenty of cash out of the bank. If the power is out, you won't be able to use your debit or credit card. Be sure to also have a gas can on hand in case you run out of fuel, or if you have a generator, you will need gas to run it. We do have a generator, and my advice is to do not bring a generator inside the house. Generators have a deadly amount of carbon monoxide, so you gotta be careful. Be sure that the area is dry and well ventilated and leveled and away from your home. We cannot function without our coffee pot, and luckily for us, the Hubster's truck has power outlets in the back of the cab, so we can make a pot of coffee anytime we want. I hope this has motivated you to get prepared for the weather, whether it's for a hurricane or a fire evacuation. I'm not an expert, but if I left anything out, let me know in the comments. And if you have pets, leave some ideas below for the pet lovers, and I want to thank you all for watching.